Hi there, it's story time. This week's story is about a lady called Ruth from the Bible. And it tells us how much Ruth loved other people in her family. Have a listen. The Story of Ruth A Bible story retold by Alison Clark. Images from the Bible app for kids. Naomi and her family had moved to another country. There, her sons had married. But Naomi's husband and sons died. Naomi and her daughters-in-law, Ruth and Orpah, were very sad. Naomi decided to go home to her, her own country. Ruth and Orpah said they would go with her. They packed their bags and got ready to leave. But Naomi said, don't come with me, stay with your families. Orpah agreed and said, goodbye. But Ruth said, you are my family now. I love you. I will go wherever you go. So Naomi and Ruth waved goodbye to Orpah and set off for Naomi's own country. When they reached Naomi's hometown of Bethlehem, they found somewhere to live. Then Ruth went out to find food. It was harvest time, and Ruth went into the fields. She picked up the wheat that the harvesters had dropped. She worked hard so that she and Naomi would have plenty to eat. The men who worked in the field watched her. The field belonged to a man called Boaz. He saw how hard Ruth worked, so he made sure she had plenty of food to take home to Naomi. At home, Ruth told Naomi about her day working hard. She told Naomi how kind Boaz had been. Naomi smiled. She remembered Boaz and knew he was a good man. Stay close to Boaz, she told Ruth. So Ruth stayed close to Boaz, working in his fields. Ruth liked Boaz, and Boaz liked Ruth. After a little while, Boaz asked Ruth to marry him. She said, yes. Ruth and Boaz got married and were very happy. They loved each other, and Naomi lived with them. Ruth and Boaz had a long and happy life together. I hope you enjoyed that. Ruth loved Naomi so much that she moved so far to be with her and then worked really hard. And then... Boaz and Ruth fell in love. Don't forget, if you love someone, especially in your family, don't forget to tell them and show them how much you love them.
Bye.